I was asked by Atomy to say, could I do something about this? Because I talk about this very often in my own center. So let's begin by sharing a little bit about who I am. I am I'm a sales master with Atomy. And uh, what I've done is I have been in the banking world for over 20 years. I did a lot of things in the banking world, all good. <laughs> So one of the things I do when I started with the banking industry was I was a financial advisor. You know those people, right? Yes. They take your money and try to make you money. That's one of the things I do. The other thing is I was a lender. I lend money. And when you lend money, what do you do? People love you when you lend them money, correct? If you have money and you lend it to people, they really love you. They say, geez, he's really good. But when I have to ask them back for money, uh, their face change and their, and their countenance change and they tell me that, why are you asking me back for money? Well, you borrowed it from me. But that's the banking world. So why am I here standing to talk a little bit about the future with Atomy? What is all this about? Is there a future with Atomy? When I started with Atomy, one of the things I was really concerned about was, is there a future with Atomy? I've been in my experience through a lot of network marketing companies. I've done a lot. And the reason for doing network marketing is because we all look for what? We look for a business for ourselves. We want to see where we can go. But there's reality and there's dream in terms of your income. And so what is this reality and dream? Some of you may recognize this. This is a slightly different version of Robert Kiyosaki's quadrant of earning income. But we put it this way, because I wanted us to understand that 95% of people in the world wants the dream of being able to own your own business or to have money to make money. How many of you like that? Own your own business, have money to make money. Deep inside us, I believe all of us wants that. But the reality is that 95% of people was like me. I've been an employee for over 40 years. And what that did was that I listened to my mom. My parents told me, Stevie, when you grow up, what do you need to do? Study hard. Correct? Study hard. What do you need to do after you study hard? Get a degree. Get that degree, and then once you get that degree, find a good job, and you'll be set for life. Well, I did exactly what my mom told me to do. I got a good job, I worked with the bank. So there are a lot of bankers today here, I realize. Uh, but yes, I did well in the banking world. But the thing is that I fell into, I lost my dream. I didn't get back into the dream of what I wanted. Deep inside me, there was this desire to say, I don't want to get up at 6 o'clock, get changed, catch the gold train, head downtown, go to my banking job, come back. I would like to change that a little bit because every time I ask my boss for a raise, he looks at me and say, what have you done? And then when I ask him for a vacation time, that's even worse. He says, why are you going out again? Or why? I don't have to answer anyone this question. So that's the struggle. That's the pain I have when I was working. But I always wanted to start my own business. Why do you not start? There's a fear. I could lose the shirt off my back. I could lose all this money I've got with me. Why do I even want to start that? But we do want. We do want. So what can we do now? The other thing is, I have in my clientele of banking people a ton of doctors, lawyers. What are they? Are they business people? Test question. No, they are self-employed. Why? 95% of the people in the world exchange their time for money. So if a doctor doesn't go and see his patients, he makes no money. 
What about someone who owns a small restaurant? Is he a business person or is he self-employed? Thank you. You guys got it. So it's difficult to own a business. But let's jump over to the other side of this, of this, uh, of this 95% and go over to the 5% side where we all dreamed of. What makes a business person a business person? Is that business person allow you to what? Have a system and people work for you. What does Atomy offers you? It gives you a system, but it also allows you to have people not working for you, but working with you. Is that a great business system? I think so. Let's explore a little bit more about this concept. How many of you have ever asked this question? The other day, I was talking to my two sons. I have two boys. They're both adults working. And I talked to them and I asked them, because I, I watch CEO's Future Value of Atomy. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. He asked the question, will your job be taken over by a robot? And I asked the same question of my children. Will your job be taken over by a robot? And when will that happen? There's a lot of future people who talk about the future that believes that perhaps in as little as 20 years, 80% of all the jobs we know now is gone. That's scary. I asked a young person, a young student, grade 11, what do you want to be when you grow up? He says, I haven't thought of it. I asked him, you have to be thinking about it because you have to think about will the job you want to do be taken over by artificial intelligence? If it is, you've got to find something. So this is the future landscape we are facing. Why will Atomy survive in this landscape? Anyone thought about it? Let me go on. So before I go on to that explanation about why Atomy can succeed, let's take a look at distribution. What is Atomy? A distribution company. We are involved with it because we have the rights to distribute Atomy products. So how does distribution work? And what is it that we are familiar with? This is what we are familiar with. First of all, we are familiar with the factory, manufacturing the goods that you want. After the factory, what happens? The goods made from the factory get sent and get put into this huge distribution warehouse. From that big warehouse, it then gets pulled together to go into your regional warehouse. From that regional warehouse, it goes into transportation, and in between, before it gets to the grocery store, we throw in the advertising, television, whether it be on newspapers and so on, there's advertising. This whole distribution system costs money. Who's paying for it? The little consumer right there. So you wonder, why is it that juice could cost so much money? when an orange didn't cost as much as the juice you squeeze it out from because of the distribution. Now, this is the system that we are familiar with. This is something that we all understand and we pay for it because we can't think of anything better. Now, take a look at this now. We are changing from this into something very different. We are now not in the industrial area now. How many things that we are still in the industrial area? I hope not, because we are now in the information era. What exactly is the information era? Let me share a little bit about what I, what I went through in terms of technology. When I first went out to work, some of you may know how old I am by that time, but when I first went out to work, the first time I encountered was a typewriter. Anyone knows what a typewriter is? It doesn't have a screen, okay? It was a typewriter. Now, after the typewriter came what? The first computers, right? 
My computer, when I got from my office, took 10 minutes just to boot up. Okay, you turn it on, you go and get coffee, and then you come back, and then it comes to life. Nowadays, 10 minutes is a long time, right? If, you're, if you turn on your, your cell phone and it doesn't come on immediately, something is wrong. Okay, so that was the old days. We we're moving. So from there, all the way, we had year 2000. Anyone remember what happened in the year 2000? Something called Y2K? Everyone remember that? Uh, young people won't remember, I know, all of you are young. Y2K, the year when we were worried about 1999, and the date changing from that to the year 2000. We went through that. Was there Wi-Fi at that time? Anyone know what's Wi-Fi at that time? No. Did I, did, does everyone have a laptop? No. Does everyone have computers? No, well, because it's expensive to buy one. Those were the days. But now we are in the information era. Why? Because, just think about it. If you text someone right now, and you don't get an answer immediately, what do you think? You think the person hates you now. <laughs> Am I correct? That's the information era we are in. But what is the distribution of goods in the information era going to be like? This is what it's going to be like. We still have, first of all, how are people going to know about goods? How does people now share with people about buying goods? We have done this all along, even during the industrial era time. Do you remember when you tried to buy your first car? Who do you go to for advice on buying the first car? Someone you trust. It could be your dad. It could be, most of the time, it's a friend. So when you wanted to buy a car, when I first came to Canada, I was wondering, should I buy a Hyundai? At that time, Hyundai was new. Should I buy a Hyundai? The price was right. Or should I buy a Honda? Should I buy a Toyota? Or should I buy American-made? Who do I go to? I went to friends. What are you driving? Do you really like the car? Is it really good? In the end, I made my decision based on what my friends told me and their experience. That's word of mouth advertising. We have done that all along in our lives. It is actually more powerful than all the ads or TV ads you have ever seen. They only help to support our decision, that's all. So we go by word of mouth. From there, we go online. We buy the products. From there, it gets shipped. The factory takes the order, manufacture the goods, and then what do you do? Ships it directly to you. Bypassing all the middlemen. As he said in a speech, that's, that's why it's happening. We bypass everything. We save money. But where does the money go? You know where the money goes in Atomy. It goes to you. That's why there is a future in Atomy. I talk about technology changes. This is an image about a phone. When I first got, when the first cell phone came out, anyone remember how big it was? It was like a brick. And it was really expensive. And what could you do with that cell phone? You can only do one thing, make calls. That's all you can do. That's what the phone was. Take a look at your smartphone now. I think almost 99% of you here have a smartphone. That image, look at all the little things you could do. That little things, you can watch TV on it. You can watch movie. You can talk to someone, you can text someone, you can type something, you can record your notes from this meeting down. You can even take a picture of yourself. And quality of the picture, super. And not only just still pictures. Someone mentioned video. You can take a whole movie if you want. That's the technology changes. It's there. So, why Atomy? Is there a future for Atomy? Atomy is global. As a Canadian, because I lived in Canada, I believe that we are the most fortunate Atomians in the world. Do you know why? Put up the graph, please. Look at this picture. 
This is in Ontario. We are a little mini United Nations. Do you want a global business? You don't have to go outside. You can find all your global partners here. And what happens? They will take it back to the country where they come from for you. That is global atomy. That is global Canada. Is there a future for atomy? For you to be with atomy? There is. But how do you really succeed in atomy? I mentioned in my first slide, business is changing. I mentioned also that in business world, did everyone know that in order to start a business, there are three things you need? You need capital, you need products, and you need a system. Persistence, your energy, your perseverance, your belief, those are your capital. Atomy, choose those capital, not cash not money. So we all have the capital required already. Do we have products? Fantastic products? Absolute products, right? And do we have a system? Right up here. Take a look. This is our system. Someone asked me, what kind of a system is this? Are you sure this works? Let me share this with you. The basic line there that makes this whole thing work is super synergy of united hearts. How do you build united hearts? Whenever we meet together. If we don't meet together, how can we understand what united heart means? Why does Atomy system or this system works? Because when you come together, whether in your local branch center, whether it be in your one day seminar, whether it be in this gathering like this Success Academy, we get what? We get two things out of this system. Number one, everyone agrees, well, I think you should agree that this business is not easy. Anyone ever started a business and say it's a walk in the park? It's simple. You don't. It's difficult. What's the most difficult thing in running a, being involved with a network marketing direct sales company. What is the most difficult thing? Passion. Do you believe? Passion. Because everyone around you is going to sell, tell you that, are you sure this is going to work? You, mean, you, mean, you really think this is going to work? And then there are days, after today, you probably go back and say, yeah, this is going to work because I heard Dr. Lee I heard Royal Master tell me, this is going to work, I believe it. You go out and you work really hard, right? Then, two days later, you start thinking, am I really doing the right thing? <laughs> By the end of a week, what do you feel? <sighs> I'm not sure now. But the good thing is at the end of the week, you get to go to your center. And who do you meet there? You meet people just like you, who love Atomy. And what does that do? It recharges you. It boosts you up. You add fuel to yourself. Now you can run for another week. And then you come for this again. And that's how you get recharged. That's the main thing. Why this system works? Because it gives you the energy you need to keep running, to keep going, to keep believing. When I first joined Atomy, I had doubts. How do I know this is the absolute product? How do I know this is the absolute price? How do I know this? How do I know that? I don't. But because I got together with people who could tell me information, give me facts that this is true, what do I do? I walk out and I believe that, yes, I have a little bit more faith. And faith builds over time. And in the end, you get to where you need to be. The system works. That's why you encourage all your new people to go for your meetings in your local centers, to go for one-day seminar, to go for Success Academy. Seminars, we have lots in Canada. We hope to be, I hope, I want to see, actually, the whole of Canada having meetings, one-day seminar all across Canada. We're going back to 
uh, we're going to have seminars in Winnipeg coming up soon. Calgary, Vancouver, Toronto will have a Mandarin seminar coming up in June 20th, I believe. We have meetings coming up. Get all your people to go. If you don't think that you can do this business, you don't even have to speak anatomy. Bring them to the seminar. Who speaks for them? Everyone here on this stage will speak to your people for you. You don't even have to do that work. Eventually, you grow to the point where you will come up here and do that sharing and that talking. Atomy is not about distributors. You don't need to go out and start grabbing people just to become members. You get people to become consumers because that's what we are. We are a company that focuses on the consumer. If you have been in any other network marketing companies before, erase everything you have learned because I had to. Until I did that, I didn't understand Atomy because it's all about changing your mind in order to change your life. Are you ready for that change? So I want to encourage that in Atomy, you truly have a legacy. Imagine if you are a sales master and you're making two to four thousand dollars every month and you pass on, your children get the two to four thousand dollars continuously and that goes on to your grandchildren. Is that something that is good or great? So leave your legacy behind. Use Atomy. Your ID is that legacy you can pass on. Thank you.